See that slider? And this massive door. This is the most insane house. Lake Oswego, right outside of Portland, Oregon. I'm telling you, this is one of the nicest areas you can find in the country. Top schools too, but check out these old growth trees that are about 12 feet around. This is a massive, massive custom home. You're gonna see things in here that you've probably never seen before. And you've got heated tile all throughout. You got movie theaters and by far the coolest bar area ever that we have ever seen on this channel or in any video. So we're gonna take you inside this house fully custom. And then at the end of this video, you've got to one, tell us your favorite part of inside this house. And two, we're gonna tell you the price of this. Now, the good news is this is their biggest custom home, but they have over nine of them right now active uh, that you can choose from that are going to be custom all around this area so you'll learn all about that so stay tuned to the end to hear about the price and everything that this builder has going on but you got to see inside this house so in order to do that i got to get with my main man jay dow and he's got to get us inside this beautiful custom home all right, Jackson, today we are over here in Lake Oswego in first edition, and I'm super excited to show you a Renaissance custom built home, five beds, five and a half bath on nearly a half an acre. As you, you know what's cool about that though, Jay? I gotta stop you. What's that? This is flat lot. It's a flat lot, you're absolutely right, with tons of old growth timber. The one thing I love about Lake Oswego is they actually make the developers preserve all of the greenery. So you're gonna see some of these big, thick trees. You'll see all this beautiful green landscaping, and they do it for water preservation and all the goodness of the city. Yeah, so we, we gotta take them over here though, because before we get in this crazy house, I see three car garage over here, man. Yeah, don't worry about that. We'll show you exactly what's going on with that third bay right there. Oh man, you're teasing us. I don't know, we'll see it when we get inside. <laughs> Hold on, but real quick, you gotta go stand by this tree, J-Dow, because that thing, I mean, this is unreal. It's like California redwoods. We're not gonna get the kiddos on the camera, but we've been seeing this all day too. You've got, um, you know, one this of is, the top. This is what I call a Portland brownwood. Yeah, one of the top brownwood, one of the top, you know, elementary schools just right there too. So very peaceful, quiet community. And the half acre that's flat too. That's what's nice too, is it's usable. Sometimes you get a half acre around here, it'll be, you know, hilly or, yep. but, but yeah, real big. Beautiful front lush green landscaping as well as this brick entry you'll see as you come in and you can notice it's all irrigated. So I'm pretty sure these are all rain sense, rain bird sprinklers. Yeah. So if it's raining, your sprinklers aren't gonna kick on. Yeah, there's a few more things. I mean, this is the, the cool thing about these and, and just they have like nine houses for sale right now, but look at even the lights like in the ground. Yep, lots of uh, finite details in this builder. So the one thing I love about Renaissance is he actually takes a lot of tear down lots, especially in Lake Oswego here, and he'll put a brand new construction home. So if you look around here, all of these houses are beautiful, but they're a little bit older. And he makes this beautiful brand new home, looks like it fits directly in the neighborhood. So it's not like you take this modern new construction home yeah. and make it look like a stub toe in the middle of the neighborhood. That's a good point. That's why I'm backing up, because you're right, they, they don't, get rid of any of the trees. It's not something that's just kind of sticking out. They keep with a lot of the uh, landscaping and stuff up front. I mean, it's it's just a clean look. Yeah, it's like a modern farmhouse. Right. White brick, beautiful. White brick, man, that's all the rage. You know what my favorite thing is from the outside though? The peaks. The peaks are sick. Love peaks, but all the metal doors, you know, that like I think that's one of the coolest new things that especially these custom builders are doing. The one thing that I noticed in instantly is this grid line uh, door. It mm -hmm. actually looks like a sun porch, but it's it's set up to be the front door. But as you saw as we walked around the side, that was the garage door entrance. Yeah. So you can kind of use a two-stage universal entry. Right. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of different entrances. So yeah, man, I can't wait to get in here. Jackson. Welcome in to oh, five. Oh, wee. Okay, so this is what's awesome about this right away. And I gotta. Oh, hold on. Oh, gotta get us a little more light there. J how, Jay you, Dow. How, so, how, how did I miss that? Not only we got wide trees, but we got these wide doors, and that is all metal. I mean, that thing swings open. It's a big dog. This is really cool. But they uh, they also have the big wide opening here. I like when you can walk into a house and there's plenty of space. It doesn't feel all tight, you know? Yep. Yeah, extra wide doors. So if you needed to come through with your wheelchair, you could get right in. Yep, or anything. You gotta bring in big coolers for the backyard party. You could bring your wheelbarrow in. <laughs> Check out that floor though. A lady Look on at each arm. Look of that plank there. Oh yeah, that's gotta be at least, what, six, seven inches? I think, yeah, it's at least a one by eight, so. I mean, I mean, if I was fishing, I'd call that a, a two foot wide plank. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so coming in right away, a lot of people work from home. You, you know, you get a lot of clients too reaching out, some of them working from home and to have a study is probably pretty nice. Yeah, look at this. I mean, if I was working in here, 
I think this is, well, obviously it's very masculine. It's super dark, but it's done very nicely with like the beam ceilings, all the custom built in office work. And then here you actually have oh. a beautiful French door closet. That's yeah, that's nice. Lit. Then you got stuff hanging out all over. Dude, so, they did built-ins in here. So technically you could call this a bedroom, but who would ever use this as a bedroom? I got you. So this could actually act as a bedroom. And is that like a dark green I'm seeing? Yes, it's like a very, very dark green. Dude, loving the green. 2024 is the year of green. Yep. Um, again, custom builders, so they can really do, you know, whatever colors or, or themes that you're seeing. And they do have this incredible, you know, millwork, woodwork up, up top to show up. But the cool thing too, is there's no transitions. Like they nope. don't have a transition, but it's wood floor goes throughout, you know? Yep. That's the one thing that I look at is like all of the details. So when I come right into this house, the thing that I'm instantly looking at is how does the finish work look? And you nailed it. Like there is no transitional strips. Mm -hmm. Everything is smooth. Look, you got hardwood floor treads all the way up and this uh, uh, metal, beautiful yeah. metal banisters. But you can see they used a design. They didn't just go straight bars all the way down. Yep. And these ones, them kiddos ain't getting their heads through that. Oh no, that's- <laughs> I know our that's, kids would be trying. But. That's definitely that's definitely <laughs> wrought iron. You could even cuff, cuff one of them to yeah, it if you had you to. Go. So let's work us through, man. What else we got? We got another hallway coming here. You're coming right here. There's a powder bath directly to your right. Okay, look at the lights underneath here too. This is pretty sick. Yep. We so got the lights that kick on when you open the door. What's up, everybody? And the uh, big pendulum. Look at that wallpaper and that tile with all the detail in there. I love this wallpaper. It, it actually looks like a, has a sheen to it with a really, really neat design. It does, and wallpaper is awesome, and it's something that, man, it's coming back strong. Have you ever tried doing it? It's like the hardest thing in the world. My oh, wife yeah. and I did it. It, it, was, it was a mess. You got to get the pros. The one thing you might not <laughs> notice in the video is that these ceilings too are all 10 feet on yeah. the main floor right here. Super tall. So, and this is again, you know, we got to have the linen space. So you not only got that, but you have almost like a custom closet here, you know, with the, the coat rack there. So yep. people can hang that. I guess, you know, like you said, if that office over there was a bedroom, they have the closet in there, but they got, you know, a half, they get the half bath over there. That's just there. the Harry Potter closet underneath the stairs. Might as well. So you got the big stairwell. You Dude, might as well use the space. You can store your Christmas tree in there or build a fort. Wouldn't that be nice? Then you ain't got to go dig it out. But look at this, Jay Down. Man, what is that, 25 foot? Let's... It's gotta be at least 25 feet. Unreal, the height of these ceilings. And that big fireplace goes all the way to the tip. I'm not even gonna show them the kitchen because it's too sick. <laughs> We'll show them that in a little bit, but the I love to have this open space. You know, you think of entertaining and people. Well, the thing that you can see over here directly is the accordion doors that open all the way up. Look at them sliders. You got it. I'll hammer it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That right there. Sign me up. So you have outdoor, indoor living space. So when you're hosting your guests, you can flow directly into the out and out back to the end. And you have been to like every one of these, you know, launches, these parties, these uh, big broker tours, and these things can hold like 50 people in them, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? You could easily have 50 guests in here. And the thing that you're not even seeing over around the corner is the bar. Yep. So you would open this up, you have your bar over there, you got the outside, you have beautiful backyard, and it's all old growth timber. Yeah, and, and that, vegetation. that's the other thing too. You don't have like the neighbor, you got half acre. It's it's really unique to get a lot of space like this. And when I'm looking at this concrete pad, this isn't your traditional concrete. You can see that it's really nicely finished. Yep. And you have all of your electrical outlets. This is all timber siding. Yep, it's You got really heaters cool. built in out here. You got your ceiling fan, your fireplace. It's a gas fireplace. So you don't have to worry about bringing in wood and all that stuff to keep it stoked. You just literally turn the gas on, light it up and you're golden. Which is cool guys. And these are too. So these are all hooked up as well. So you can crank these on. Man, you could almost put some kind of like a uh, blind or something there too for the winter time to keep this whole area warm. That's exactly what I was thinking. But man, you got that TV popping, watching some college football or what it hang it. I mean, this is the spot. It's just unreal. And then check out the size of your backyard. <laughs> so what, this is a half half an acre lot. So you guys saw the size of the front yard was huge. So yeah. whether you want to play in the front yard or the backyard, you can do both ways. 
And the nice thing about that is obviously the sun goes up and goes down every day. So when you want to go with the sun or stay in the shade, you have options. Yep. And right now it's what? It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and you got a, you know, a lot of sun right here. You also have a lot of shade right there. So you're getting the best of all worlds. Can't beat the and Northwest. And you have your, your uh, concrete pad out there with your fire pit. I would probably put a hot tub out here, but that's just me. I hot, hot tub tubs. popping bubbly. And again, guys, you got to see these. Um, and, and what's cool at night, these all light up. They've got this real secretive, um, you know, landscape lights out here. And those are LED. So, that you know, all these trees are illuminated. So, man, you talk about just evening, you know, hang out, got the people over or just the family. But wait, we got the Smashburger station. We got the Smashburger. We got the Blackstone flat top. Oh, I got to come around. This I is think. one of the first houses I've actually ever seen them put a full flat top in here. And what do we say is the number one rule about flat topping? Man, you got to season it right. Season that, and that needs some seasoning. It that definitely maybe hasn't been turned on. Maybe yet. we'll season it for him. So not only that, but your favorite. You've always talked about Wolf. Yes. So you know they have a lot of outdoor kitchen appliances. Yep. And you know a lot of people will build them, but I. But here you can see that they actually used Wolf Grill, yep. which I absolutely love. So right behind us, which Jackson is, is holding off from you guys, I, is a full-blown uh, bar with a window that pops out. We can tease that for show. Oh, it's we gotta go inside that. and lock it, or unlock it, but. But you literally have indoor out there in the living room area, and then you have indoor and outdoor in the bar area. Yep. And it just flows perfectly together like a big giant horseshoe. Could be serving, no problem. Serving through your window. Are we unlocked there? We gotta go back through the big slider, which is my favorite shot anyways. I think, you know, when you got people over, whatever, but this view from the outside looking in, anytime you can get these sliders, which is pretty rare, but this custom builder, you know, does that. This is the money shot right here to be able to see from outside the huge kitchen, which we haven't even revealed yet, but this is so cool. Now, j -Dell, look at the thickness of this island. I mean, you'd have to name this thing, it's so big. <laughs> I call it Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> so they did custom cabinets all the way to the ceiling and they actually matched the refrigerator. This is the thing that I absolutely love. They actually did paneled, paneled everything. So yeah. when you get into these higher end homes, you're gonna see the paneled fridges, the paneled dishwashers, which I'll show you over here in a second. Right. But they have a little built-in wine fridge here and there's a full wine cellar around the corner. So you can come through here and look. I mean, this is white oak all yeah. the way around. And I like the detail of the fixtures, but then also the glass paneling so you can showcase all your china or special dishware. Right, I mean, they got the wine glasses. You're in, you're in the wine country here, but the cool thing too, you notice is they've got the two-tone Jones going. So not only with the countertops and the cabinets, but those two cabinets are white with the darker ones. So it's just a really cool look. The, this is, okay, so when I talk about builders and like paying attention to things, this is something that drives me crazy that people don't do, and I'm glad he did it here. When your kids are little, they need to have access to the microwave. So here they actually put the microwave down low, mm -hmm. so they have direct access, and I think that's a, a huge thing. As long as they don't put their cars in there and hit start. I mean, but. it doesn't matter if they put foil or cars, <laughs> whatever. That's all good, we've all done it. Yeah, man, but, you got the pot filler, you got this double oven, baby. What do I always say? Double ovens is a must, so yeah. they're, they're literally, I'm checking every box, and they're literally nailing every single one. Six top wolf range. Yep. Six top, that is a must. Double oven, must. You got the built-in fridge with the pan, or dishwasher with the panel. Pot filler in a house of this caliber is a must. But look at this, even the oh, dishwasher panel. Cool. And yeah, I don't even know if I noticed that coming in earlier. Yeah, here, that's cool. I mean, I'm a dishwasher freak, but I love the height in here. And you have the third rack up top. Yep. Just a little uh, a little uh, bonus tip. I personally like the KitchenAid gotcha. with the third bonus, bonus rack, but this is super, super nice. Got the... Uh, Fatty kitchen. The farmhouse, farmhouse open face. Sink there. Oh, and here's something that I'm a fanatic over is the sink drain position. Are you a middle a middle drainer or yeah. are you a side drainer? I like the side and I love the single bowl because you can get the big pans in here. Yep, the, the, the divider in there is just, it's trash, man. It's, you can't get nothing in there. Get What's out. in here though? This is kind of cool. I've never really seen these big tall ones on the side. Just more space for storage yeah but here's the other thing like these here with these big old oh, yeah. drawer inserts you can put all your plates and bowls in here and not worry about them getting smashed when's the last time you've actually seen the dividers in here i've never seen pegs that's that's such a good idea exactly and in fact it makes me want to go do it to, to so, mine right and now and then these ones are for your pans these ones are for your pots all the way through but look at that they're three wide up here you have your spice rack inserts yep and then they hid that hood too so that's really cool it's up underneath 
that. Yep. So they, so they don't have it hanging down or exposed. These hood range covers in these caliber of homes is a must. Yep. I think one thing my wife would appreciate too, we did this in our laundry room and it's for different reasons, but having just one little shelf up here, again, you could be able to have the pictures, the flowers, whatever. I, you know, it's definitely not for spices or anything. They, they did a great job and like the height on this mm -hmm. range hood is very high. Yep. And the only thing that you lose in that situation, which they have it over here is the electrical outlets, but yeah. it's neither here nor there. Well, and this looks like over here, you're gonna be your main drop station. This is like probably where you're gonna be coming in and out a lot right here. So remember when we said outside and we had that third bay garage? Right. This is where the secret lies. Okay, we so, got secrets, we got secrets. We even got more secrets around the corner. So do you wanna see secret number one right now or what well, do you think? Let's do it. Okay. We got so many, we, we, we can afford to give so, them one. So right there, you have the bay, right? Yeah. Over here, you have the two car garage. Yeah. Over here, you walk in the door, and what do I see? I see a 30 amp outlet with a washer and dryer hookup. Guess what? The main washer and dryer is upstairs, but guess what we got through here? The third bay. This is awesome. Look at the, even the garage is finished, man. Yep. This is so cool. But around the corner yep. is another junior suite. So you could, have, you could use this as an in-law suite. Yeah, this is awesome. So you could use it in law, and if you got family moving here, nannies, whatever, they would have their own wing. Um, and this is cool too, if you wanted to do lawn equipment or bikes, you know, a lot of bike riding here, you've got this single garage and that's probably gonna head out. But. Yep, and it looks like that this house actually has a generator in it. It's got the double panels, probably all connected up for uh, ready for the EVs too. Yeah, and it's awesome how much counter space they put in here. Like, that is really cool. Yep. To be able to have that much space, you still got a sink, fold, do whatever. Yeah, so obviously with my family, we would be using this as a mud room. Yep. And I'm sure you would too. Exactly. You'd probably park your golf cart in there. The golf cart, and then, yeah, you gotta have a spot too. Them kids come in, all the shoes stacked up everywhere in the backpacks. Yep. Now you got a spot for it. Because right here, this is really where everybody would be coming in. Yep. I know we saw that front entrance, but here, this is where your coat rack's gonna be. Yep. Oh, the rug's hitting it. But. So we do have one there, and then this is gonna be your other garage? Yep, this is okay. gonna be your two car standard garage. Perfect. And interestingly enough, they put shades in here. So actually when you're out on this outside looking in, you saw that the shades were down. You would think that was the living room, it's actually the garage. Yeah, that's a good point too. And, and then they have the yeah, tank. Yeah, you can't see into it. Yep. And it helps keep it really cool, especially in the summer months, you know? Yeah, I see 30 amp outlets in there, so yep. for the EVs. Gotcha, gotta have the EV. Yep. All right, man, we haven't even seen primary bedroom yet, but this, my friends. Well, first of all, look at the dining table. I mean, yeah. that thing's got eight chairs at it. Chairs, eight on the side, and then one on each end. So this is like a 10 topper, yeah. and this is huge. You don't ever see this in a lot of the new construction homes. It's right. the dining space, and it's completely separate. Yep. So once again, you got the outdoor, indoor. You got your dining table with this built-in bar, yep. so you can directly flow straight through. And you can see the TV out there, so if you're in here entertaining, can watch the TV, make cocktails, enjoy some wine. But I will take one. Here's the bar area. It's got the fridge, freezer, sink with the disposal, dishwasher, and this was that crazy window that we were talking about that goes to the outside. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how I'm gonna get that down, but. <laughs> I'll go out there and get it for you. I mean, how cool is it? Not only do you have that, but you have this other like hangout spot right here, the full bar area, and then the, the dining room. Like this is a dining room that you would actually use because it's right next to, you know, your kitchen, the, the living room. And sometimes, you know, dining rooms get too far away, but you still have plenty of room. I would see my kiddos, you know, stacked up here, especially in the mornings, all that, but that space back there is special. And man, I'm seeing two more rooms back here. But so first at, of all. But look at this. This is like, I love built-in nooks, first of all. This is probably like one of my favorite, most favorite features and this is like this space right here alone. Yep. You can't see it, but there's a TV. I think I'd have my bed right here. This yeah. Is, I'd just be hanging here. But even look at this pantry with all the built-in shelves and the baskets and everything. Yep. Like this is insane. So the cool part about this, my favorite is look, you've got your coffee maker back here, you know, air fryers, you could have sous vide, whatever, and you can keep all that back there. They're smart enough to put outlets all over in here so that you can plug all the stuff in here and then it's not out on your countertops. And they kind of went with like an open shelving, which is really kind of a cool idea. And they carried that countertop, you know, color and uh, theme, you know, in there too, so. Yep, 10 okay. feet high ceilings in this area. And I just think this is super, this is, it's breathtaking. I mean, where else can you go and find this? This is so crazy. And then <laughs> got a full wine room. It just doesn't stop. This is what I was saying. This is your wine cellar in here. 
So what do you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210 bottles. 210 up in there. So if you are looking for a place to store your wine or your spirits, this house has it all. Or if your guest who needs their own suite over here is a wine host. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just so, watch out. Okay, so I, I, I'm picking up the theme. So you have your own room over here and you got the bar and the wine cellar yeah. in your breakfast nook in your own private bay for parking. So this is definitely the wino's room. That's right. And you would think, I mean, that we're here in the, in the primary bedroom, right? But we're not. So um, we're gonna showcase that in one of the craziest bathrooms we've ever seen. But this is, yeah, like a private suite in-law quarter. All of these floors also are all heated tile floors in the bathrooms. Come on, really? So look at those tiles, those are really cool. Those are all individual little circular tabs. Yeah, the, the circular, again, like the popular one, we see a ton is the honeycomb, but you don't see the big, big, uh, cause they have penny tiles, you know, the little guys, but. And it almost has like a 3D look to it. It does, man, you imagine how much grout that is. That's a ton of grout, but that looks really, really good. So you've got a full custom, you know, tile shower. Yep. And again, no like transition pieces. The tile guys are amazing to be able to just butt that up. Yeah, it, look, it looks like they put a piece of Schluter in there. Yeah, just one little, instead of having like a big board across there, that is yep. sweet. They did a phenomenal job. Paid attention. My favorite, double paint, freaking dark black windows. And then, not just a measly little closet. Oh. They got a walk-in closet with built-ins. You got the drawers. I mean, this is a nice closet for, you know, a primary room. And again, the wood floors have, have just gone all the way through here. No transitions. And this might Super be, smooth. this may or may not be important to people, but you'll notice that every single room that I've seen so far has low volt coax yeah. and cable outlets. So if you need that internet in every single room, high speed, plug your modem right in, you're off to the races. Yep, that is. And they give you enough room over here. I mean, obviously if you need dressers, but you got chairs. So this could be somewhere that somebody could have their chairs, have their bed, almost like a living space here. So. Yep. It's really nice. All right, this lower level, definitely a check. But we gotta go upstairs. We gotta show them the rest of this stuff. We got man, we got a lot more to go, plus a primary. Look at that light, that's yeah. crazy. Get the drone in there. All right, so we'll, we'll take you upstairs, but one of my other favorite features, I love having the open uh, space up, up there. So where you can see the walkway up there, I think it's really cool to have all the height in the ceiling and then still be able to see, you know, the, uh, the, the walkway up there, but take us up there. Let's go. I like how they have the drapes across that door too. That's pretty cool. You don't cool. see that a lot over the I've, front door. I've never seen that before. I got to take a picture of that, send it to the wifey. She's going to love that one. She's going to make me rip out the door and put in a giant metal door with the, uh, whatever you call it over it. But all right, so right away you got a big landing area. It looks like you got a room over here. Let's go check out what's up. Yep, so you have your way. landing so you can, you know, have a little library up here, a little play space. As you know, the kids would probably be building forts over there. Yeah. But you come right in here. Once again, no transitional strip, straight into the bedroom. Super nice carpet, actually. Man, check out that vaulted ceiling. That thing is way up there. Yep, it's peak. Once again, the farmhouse style really calls for that. You got the big, massive windows. I mean, they got these two full beds in here and they got chairs, plenty of room. Every single room in this house is a suite as well. So you'll notice every room that we've been into has a full bath. So this room right now, walking into it, has a walk-in shower, full walk-in closet. That is unreal. And 10 feet ceilings again on the second floor. <laughs> you don't see that, yeah, on the, on the second floor, the height of the ceilings. And look at these doors. These are like, either eight or nine foot doors. I don't know if it's 10 feet ceilings, it'd have to be nine foot doors. Solid core, but yeah. And then you get you got built-ins. That's, that's what's cool too, is they're not just putting rods in here, you know? They've got some sort, because if you just add a couple drawers and shelves, man, it makes your closet like three times bigger, so. And these are all dovetailed solid wood cabinets. Yep. And then you get the full tile all the way up to the ceiling, shower, custom, man. Yep, they did not skimp on this place. Renaissance is doing it right. And then right here they do have um, another like linen closet. So could have all the blankets, pillows, whatever. More storage, gotta have the storage. You going to the theater or the master? Oh man, oh, that's a tough call. Or should I say primary? We better go check out this real quick. Okay, so coming in here is a home theater. And this ain't no small one. Look nope. at the size of this thing. So you got the drop down shade so you can black it out in here. It's obviously, the room is super dark. I don't know what color they call that. Probably like, what is that, peppercorn? Yeah, it's a peppercorn, dark corn, black corn. I don't know, some <laughs> kind of dark. 
And they got the Sono speakers, so they do have um, all this stuff wired in right here, the, the Bluetooth, but the check one, it out. That I is... mean, call it peppercorn, call it whatever corn, but I, I don't call it black. <laughs> I would definitely be putting a projector though on that wall, you know, but that TV is like an 80 incher. You can see the size of it. Doesn't make you look small at all, Jesse. It's... I know, <laughs> call me Vanna. Uh, but look at the size of this sectional. Yep. This thing is huge and you still have room to have two almost love chair type, you know, seats over here. And this is a good space too that's, you know, gonna keep, if you got guests downstairs and the kids can come up here, they're at like an opposite wing of the house. Yep, and they did the hardwood floors up in here too. Yep. So I guess like the only thing that I think it's missing is probably a wet bar up here. Yeah. And the theater and the popcorn maker. Gotta have the popcorn maker. You buy this house, we'll get you the popcorn maker. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Here's your, uh, guest bath for your second floor since every room has its own bathroom you need a secondary bathroom yeah but look at that look at that tile that's i've never seen that tile before honeycomb with all the design yep yep and then again just that smooth transition and over here we have a studio for the artists how cool is this man little easel you can get your inspiration by looking out in the greenery look at that you'd be looking out at these beautiful old grow trees painting on the old canvas but it does have a closet so this is another bedroom up here um, that doesn't have a uh, bathroom so that one across would be for it yeah th this isn't counted into the bedroom specs so i think this house actually is five bedrooms plus two bonuses Jeez, that's a ton of room so you got the easel all right let's keep working down got the easel easel for sheasel this is the actual laundry room up here on the second floor so you have the sink washer and dryer built-ins you have plenty of desk space to do mm -hmm. your folding you get the bar up top I love that too, because now we're up here with all the bedrooms and your primary bedroom. So mama's gonna be doing laundry and guess what? It's just outside of her door. So nice and close. And they, I think this is the smartest thing that builders are doing, I've noticed, is putting an actual countertop with quartz counters over the washer dryer and doing front load. Having all this space right here, you know, which is usually just wasted space, especially if you go top load, you know, it's, I think it's awesome to have. And then you got all these cabinets and then even another spot right here and check out the windows just everywhere bringing in that light it's lots of really natural cool. light in this house yeah so down here we have another guest suite okay i'll pop in there and check guess, it guest suite number 24. my goodness it just goes and goes big old closet there you got enough room for king bed if you need and what do we got another dresser and you're right with a bro mask so this is for the boy up here he's got the bro mask and another big tile with the natural light full Shower. height tiled Beautiful. The size of this room though, this is a really cool, unique room. I like the design of it. Yep. And then finish us off. Finishing it up with the primary. Ooh, we got what? a double door here. So man, this is two of these big linen closets up here. Tons of room. Yep. So roll in. So roll in, you're gonna notice that it's got the shiplap ceilings going on. Beautiful. I got a little cabin fever going up in here. <laughs> <laughs> you need got more shiplap. You need this more is, cowbell. Oh man, this is cool. So, and the double doors, we didn't even, it's like a French door system. Like, look at the width of that hallway. We gotta be more inviting. Yeah, MTV crib, Joe. There we go. Welcome into my abode. That would be This is where the magic, kids, this is where the magic doesn't down. happen. <laughs> so you got the, the king bed here. You can see all the room, you know, to be able to still have dressers and a tree on the side of you there and two chairs. So it's a big oversized, you know, primary room. The thing I, when I come in here, like, I don't know about you or even the people that are watching, but you know, everyone is always trying to figure out what to do with their primary bedrooms. They're like, oh, it feels so empty. It feels so empty. This room is huge mm -hmm. and it feels like it's like perfectly de decorated. Yep. And yeah, the light's insane. Tons like, of space everywhere. And you have these beautiful windows that are grid lined, but it overlooks the entire backyard with all the trees. It just feels like you you're secluded. That. Yep, you're not seeing neighbors. You're not seeing anything. You see your big, beautiful backyard, trees, a lot of green. I feel like you're living in the Swiss Family Robinson. And then... But coming into here... You may spend a lot of time if you get a bathroom like this. Look at the... What do they call that? The... Um, Massive ass tile. It's heated <laughs> tile floors. Yeah. But the, the style... I love the big double vanity. Yep. And the cool part again on a lot of these are having the lights underneath them so at night those can kick on not blind you but you also get the big tub and shower so you're not having to sacrifice and do but check out the garden tub right here that overlooks the backyard and then you have your own hand sprayer so if you're a lady you need to wash your hair i would be washing the dog or the kids with this <laughs> i'm a bad i'm not the bath guy my wife is so it's, it's good to have 
Oh, and check it out, the custom, the uh, towel rack, right? Towel. Yeah, towel rack towel, with a he towel, towel heated, rack. heated towel rack. So it's actually truly like a, a spa retreat in here. And these windows all crank out. You can see the hand cranks down there. Oh, it's a heated towel. And then you got the throne bone back here. Here's the thing that you will never see this hardly ever in any of these primary bathrooms is it has a zero edge transitional strip into the actual shower. Let me move this out of the way. But look, there is no lip on that at all. Mm -hmm. So you can just go straight in. It's so hard to do that. And they actually were smart and made big niches instead of like one little small one in there. Yep. They got shelves. So you have your tall shampoo, it doesn't fall over and it's sloped off a little bit so the water runs off. I mean. Double were... head shower. And then a lot of these you're gonna see, you know, a lot of homes will have like a double vanity, right? Which is great, plenty of space, but you gotta have the, the get ready for the yep. lady. So. They'll have their own spot to get, get ready, get have their right. makeup. It can all sit in these drawers. And they put plug-ins right there for curling irons and <laughs> whatever they need. But here's the cool thing. It has a his in her closet. Come on. So you have the lady sitting here getting ready. She comes right in here to her closet because I'm guessing the man's is the black one. Look at that closet, dude. I think having an island in the center of your closet is just like... Oh, it's the coolest thing ever. That is the best. I would probably be hanging out in here just kind of chilling, posted up at the bar. And then they did the custom shoe racks too. So now they're not all over the ground, taking up space. Really yep. cool chandelier. And the carpet feels really nice. No, it's spongy. Yep. But this is one closet. And look at these lights. These are not Ikea, I can tell you that. That's this actually be, metal. This would be plenty of room for, you know, both husband and wife in here, but you don't have to worry about that because. And look, the mirror. There's a mirror in the bathroom. And it's all the way to the ceiling. Like we got one just leaned up against the wall. How nice would it be to just- <laughs> This is definitely this is definitely the guy's closet. Yeah. Even look at this wallpaper. That's the one thing I noticed about this house. They did a ton of wallpaper work and I love it. Yeah, it's like a textured one too. It's really cool. Again, they went with the, uh, the shoe racks here, I think, which is really cool. Got plenty of space and drawers, dressers. So a lot of customization. And I guess that, you know, with a builder like this, you're gonna see a lot of this stuff, you know? Oh yeah, especially this, this was a Street of Dreams home. Mm -hmm. So they're showcasing all of their features and in so the home. so they see, you know, stuff that they like, these are all things they can add in, you know, in their own custom design, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've, we've uh, worked with the Renaissance quite a bit, sold a bunch of their homes and it's a great local builder. They actually, the one thing I, I love about them is they try to keep all of their production under hundred homes a year because they're really focused on qu quality, mm -hmm. not quantity so they're not out there trying to buy massive developments and just build like crazy they really pay attention to the the finishes and the customer service all right jay Dow, i gotta know the price of this bad boy so this house is five beds five and a half bath a little over five thousand square feet on a half an acre lot in prime lake oswego so we're literally right by the river and you have lake easement access which is invaluable right and so what does that real what does that mean real quick though that means that you're gonna have access to the lake mm -hmm. through the um the marina right so they can actually launch a boat and that's that's rare to have you know moving to lake oswego and yep exactly that doesn't mean you have a boat slip that means you have access to the lake mm -hmm. so some of the houses here don't have lake easement access so that's one thing i do appreciate from renaissance homes is not only are paying attention to the details inside the house but he's also paying attention to outside of the house in the community. Gotcha. So what so, else you got cooking there? So the price of this house is 4.4 million. So I can understand that that might be a little steep for some people, but the one thing that's really nice about Renaissance Homes is that just looking through the website, you can see that he has home prices starting in the $1.399 million range. Yep. And it just goes up from there. Once again, he's a local custom home builder and we've sold a ton of their houses. And when we resell a Renaissance home, people that know Renaissance homes actually pay a premium for those houses. Yep. So you know how to get, you know, in contact with them. People can call you, they can build a house. Yeah, exactly. Spec. Exactly. You can even see the houses that are coming soon and they do buy houses too. So if you have a teardown, you're local and you're looking to sell your house, hey, maybe they'll buy your house too. Gotcha.